Today I will show you how to create this really cool effect in Photoshop easily. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neyman and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. As you already saw in the intro, today I will show you how to create this really cool effect of model standing behind the glass surface that is full of water drops and some part of water drops is wiped out. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will use this photo just as an example, but you can use any photo that you like. The point of this tutorial is me showing you this awesome technique. So what you will need? any kind of photo that you want to be from the other side of the window and you need some kind of water droplets like you can see right here or something like this or you can use combination of both or three, four, five, whatever you want you will see in this example. So I will go with this water droplet photo, copy it and paste it back on this document. But as you can see this is too big, I will press Ctrl or Command T and just make it smaller, something like this. And this should be okay, but for my taste, the water droplets are too big. So I don't want that. I want to make them smaller. So something, something like this would work probably. But now we need to populate the whole screen. So let's, let's pull this all the way down, press enter, press control or command J to make a copy of this layer and move it all the way up. Now we have this gap. Let's see if we invert it, control or command T, right click, flip vertical. Now it's much better. So this is cool. I will group, actually merge all of these two layers, all of these two, both of these two layers, Control or Command E, and this is pretty cool. So now what we can do, we can maybe clean up some parts with the clone stamp tool or healing brush. Let's use a healing brush and maybe from here, just paint it somewhere here. And maybe I don't want this to be identical like on this side. So this is an optional guys. You can do it, you don't need to do it, whatever feels good for you. So here we have something, but here we have exactly the same copy. So this is why I like to just heal out some things. This is not to be so obvious. Maybe, maybe this with a bigger brush right there. And this is pretty cool. Maybe something like this or here. Yeah. This is pretty cool. This technique in my country is called Parola Snadjice. So if you don't have a big photo, you need to find your way around to make it bigger. All right, let's go back to our photo. And first thing that we need to do is to change the blending mode from normal to screen. And here we have really cool effect, but we are not there yet. So we need to play with this effect. We can create a new adjustment layer. We can go with the curves, clip it to effect only this. Uh, let's, let's name water droplets okay and uh, let's go with the curves and make everything a bit brighter so as you can see to have this kind this kind of effect we can make it even darker but then we will lose a lot of black areas we don't want that so something like this, this looks cool before and after it's much better visible so I will go with that and now we need to make the impression that actually this guy behind the window is blurred like the window is not like really transparent, but it has some milky surface or something like that. So let me show you that. So first let's rename this layer to model and make a copy of this control or command J, go to filter, blur, and go to Gaussian blur. We just want to make the model blur. Like the glass has that kind of properties that you will see the image behind the glass a little bit more blurry. Okay, so I'll press okay, 15 is okay for this photo. And now we need to create a layer mask on the water droplets and to just wipe out some of the droplets. So for that, I will use a brush. You can use a regular brush, black one, 100% opacity and just paint like this. Or you can go and use some Photoshop legacy brushes. So I want to use maybe the chalk brush, maybe this one, let's see. Yeah, this one is cool. So as you can see, I will just wipe like this. I will just wipe out like I'm doing with my my hand. So that's cool. I can even rotate the brush a little bit more, even more like that and make it smaller and just wipe out the edges a bit better. And also what, what I can do, this is completely optional. I can go and make some kind of these, like the water is dropping here and there. This is completely, completely optional. 
maybe one here a little bit not like that but a little bit bigger maybe like this this few effects to spice it a little bit more like that also you can add even down below wherever you want so let's make this one a bit wider okay so this is just as the creation here and now what we need to do to make this even better is to copy this layer mask by holding alt or option key and to move it on the model copy this is model blurred blur all right and now we have this really cool effect as you can see and maybe this is not good enough maybe you want to expand the mask no problem i just just hide this mask by holding shift and just expand it a little bit more so maybe you want something like this however you want the beauty of this you can always go back and forth and play this maybe you want the model to be more visible this is pretty good and now you need again to just make a copy of this mask on the second layer press yes and here we have so let's say that i'm pretty happy with this result now what we need to do is to double click on water droplets layer and uh, play with some properties so let's make this smaller move it here and go with the bevel and emboss and what i like to do here is to make the impression of the glass that is actually a 3d that there is actually some kind of water depth on the glass so this is too big for me so i will go with uh, here with the settings let's see maybe something like this from this angle maybe more above because as you can see here the reflections of the water so i want to have something like this and with this we can make it wider but one is or this zero zero is pretty good so i will press ok and yeah we have it so now we can even go further right click on this create layers so make this effect into a layer as you can see and i can add a layer mask here and go with a really soft round brush with maybe 20 percent opacity black color i can wipe out from certain areas like this maybe i don't want this to be so visible and here a little bit less you know just to make some irregularities here and there so this is pretty nice and this is basically the effect now what what we can do we can spice the image even more to make it even more dramatic and even more interesting so let's go to the next photo this one i will copy this photo and bring it back right here of course it's too big but i will move it something like this let me see and uh, let's put it like this for now and this photo is a color version photo so we need to desaturate it there is a keyboard shortcut i like to use keyboard shortcuts all the time it's shift Control u or shift command u on the mac and now we can move it into overlay blending mode as you can see or soft light blending mode you can see it's a really cool effect if you go to screen it will be too bright if you go to multiply it will be too dark so i will go with a soft light it's pretty cool and i will do exactly the same i will copy by holding alter option key this layer mask right there and there we have it also we can lower the opacity of this one it doesn't need to be so opaque so it can be a little bit transparent and this is pretty good good now what we can do we can add some snow on this guy beard to have impression that he is somewhere outside where it was it was snowing and you know just for fun so let's create a new layer name it snow and a pretty good way if you followed my tutorials for that you already know i will go with a white color and just add a snow all right really cool realistic way to add the snow on a beard i really like it all right now that we add a snow and a beard we can make this photo even more dramatic by dodging and burning it but i know you're thinking this is like a kid is painting snow on a beard this is not realistic but with just one tiny setting this will be awesome double click on the snow layer and just go here move this to the right see woohoo and then press and hold alt or option key and move it like this so this looks already awesome there is some really cool snow here i'll press ok and this is it also you can create a layer mask and just remove some snow from certain areas with maybe 20 percent opacity brush maybe 20 is too much maybe 10 just a little bit but also you can also you can use a white brush and add the snow maybe here on the hat a little bit or you know here but 
we will not do that right now because there are even better ways to do it but this is not a tutorial about the smell but it's already better before and after I, I pretty much like it and I will leave it like this just for fun let's just go a little bit less here on this part and this is really cool all right now let's go to the model right there create curse adjustment layer make it darker Control or command I to invert it and what I like to do here I just want with a really soft brush to make some dark areas down below in case you're wondering guys this photo is from Envato Elements I went to Envato Elements and grabbed this photo of this guy and they have ton of cool photos millions of really high-res quality photos and I already did one video about explaining the Envato Elements fully what they are and what you can get there and I'm using them a lot obviously and in case you want to take a chance of the Envato Elements you can check out the link down there in the description and go with one month completely free and explore and enjoy the content there all right so now that this is a little bit darker down below you can make it even darker okay I want to go with uh, curves and burn it a little bit invert it and make the upper part here a bit brighter just like this just for fun maybe here and here and also you can go and spend a little bit more time dodging dodging few things better making more dramatic scene here on the glasses and so on and so forth but I will not go now and uh, spend time doing that because of time sake of this tutorial but you see I'm doing it All right I will stop it and this is basically it now what I like to do I like to merge everything together into one layer by shift uh, by holding shift control alt e or shift command option e on a mac and go to filter camera and uh, just spice it a little bit more add some color correction so let's go to vignetting right there add vignette then let's go here and just add some kind of a cool tone to the shadows like that and also what we can do we can go to, uh, to HSL and just go with the blue a little bit less I want to desaturate blue colors a little bit go here add a little bit more contrast a little bit more clarity and texture open shadows and close the blacks a bit like that and uh, I can go with this make the center part oh it's too huge let's make it smaller make the center part a little bit brighter as you can see but just a touch maybe 0. 15 or 10 and this is okay before and after I will press ok and you will see this is before that color grading this is after really nice cool result of course you can spend a little bit more time and tweak those wipeouts a little bit better and to make it really like in your own taste and your field any kind of shape you can you can play like in regular life you're playing with uh, you know glass and wiping out the water of the or the that um, mist or however you say it and paint something even there and here is the version before everything this is just regular photo and after applying this effect really nice dramatic effect I really like it you can maybe even blur it more or less the model behind the glass you can make the glass maybe more white or maybe different colorization whatever there are so many things that you can do here right guys so that's it for today i really hope that you like this episode and that you learn something new cool fun and interesting out of this one in case you have any kind of questions regarding this episode please leave me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it also guys if you want to download this photo or any of millions of photos from envato elements you can take this opportunity and follow the link down there in the description and go with one month completely free and enjoy the content there and if you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, please press the like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial. Bye-bye.